So to get started, you'll want to go to Janus.ai in your web browser, and then you'll just want to click this Get Started button, and then you can log in with an account. So I'm going to log in with this account, and I'm going to give Google permission to connect to Janus. Now Janus is an AI assistant that will guide you through the process. So the first thing you'll want to do is click continue to start the integration. So you can work with Janus on the web or you can connect a Slack workspace to Janus and it extends at some additional AI management tools. You can also collaborate with a team in Slack. So we're not going to do that right now. You can always connect a Slack workspace in the future by simply clicking up here in the left side of the top navigation and you can see the you can connect a Slack workspace and then manage a workspace on the web. Uh, but everyone starts with a personal workspace and uh, for now we're just going to skip that step. Uh, so let's uh, get started. We'll want to add a bot. Now you can connect an unlimited number of bots to Janus. So anytime you want to connect a new chat fuel bot, you just say add a bot. If you're new to Google Dialogflow, it runs on Google's cloud platform and you'll need to accept the terms of service the first time you ever use Google platform uh, for Dialogflow. So I'm going to want to click this accept terms of service button and I'll be taken to Google Cloud. And I'm just going to agree to the terms of service and I'll click agree to continue. So once I've done that, I can go back to Janus and I can just, because I've already accepted the terms of service, and I can just click create new agent. And if I'm building a bot that uh, maybe it's for auctions, I'll just name it auction bot. So you just enter a name and you can't use spaces because that's required by Google to uh, have a dialogue flow agent without spaces in the name. And I can just click create. Now, Janus is now setting up that dialogue flow agent for you in Google Cloud. It's configuring the whole account. And so just give it a minute. And then when it's done, we can continue the setup. Okay, so now the dialogue flow account has been set up and the dialogue flow agent has been established. Uh, but if I want to change it to, you know, something else, this is a name that only Janus will use for your bot. So, um, Let's say I just call it my auction bot. And I can save that. So now Janus will refer to your bot as my auction bot. Janus asks if you're using any tools and we're using chat fuel. So we'll click chat fuel. Now you can connect Janus to the same Facebook page as your chat fuel bot and that unlocks some additional AI management capabilities. So Janus will monitor your bot for problems, alert you. Janus can pause your dialogue flow automation and you can use Janus to take over live. And you can do that directly in the Facebook inbox or you can do that within uh, Janus's web interface or directly in Slack. So there's multiple options to be able to pause your dialogue flow agent while it's still training so you can retain your users. And then finally, Janus will transcribe your conversations and you can use that data to train your dialogue flow agent and make it smarter over time. So we can skip that step, but let's connect uh, Janus to a Facebook page. And so uh, if you're not logged in, you'll be prompted to log into Facebook, but I'm already connected. So I'm just going to select my Facebook pages and there's auction bot and I'll click save. And so Janus will be added now to the Facebook page and we're now ready to manage the AI for this auction bot. So let's click continue. Now at this step, you're going to want to either install what we call an AI starter kit, and that's going to allow your chat field bot to understand the most common messages that users send chat bots. Every time a user sends a message like thanks or yes or okay, 
you don't need to spend time training Dialogflow to understand that. We've done that work for you, and Janice will install that to your Dialogflow account for free, so you can benefit immediately from the technology. Uh, if you've already been training a Dialogflow agent uh, and you're just using Janice to manage it, uh, then uh, you can do a custom integration. Uh, one of the nice things about the starter kit is that you'll get uh, a number of intents installed, and then you'll also get a chat field template uh, which you'll use for the responses. So you're gonna use Dialogflow to instantly understand the most common things users say, and then you can respond with chat field blocks and flows. So let's choose the starter kit option. And the first step is uh, we're gonna install the AI to Dialogflow. So let's click Install AI. Bit of a, a warning here, if you've already been using a Dialogflow agent, you've been training that agent, Janice is gonna overwrite uh, the two default intents, which is the default welcome intent and the default fallback and intent in Dialogflow with ones that we've created that have been optimized for chat fuel. They can communicate directly with our chat fuel template. So let's click install. And you'll get an email at that point uh, that lets you know that Janice has uh, successfully connected and set up a Dialogflow agent for you. And you're gonna be given a Janice key. Now we're gonna need to use that Janice key and add that to a chat fuel bot. Uh, that way, uh, every time a user sends your chat fuel bot a message, uh, because you have the key, those messages will be relayed to Dialogflow. So let's first get the chat fuel template, and then once we've added the Janus key, we'll just wanna come back here and click continue. So I'll click get chat fuel template, and I'll be taken to the uh, dashboard here, and you'll see here that uh, Janus has two uh, templates available. Essentially the same templates, uh, this just gives you some additional multi-language uh, support. So I'm going to choose our standard template and I'm going to click use template and uh, it'll be added uh, to your dashboard. Um, so let's just open the template for now. So you can connect your bot at any point, you can connect it to the page. Uh, but we don't need to do that right now. I'm just going to show you uh, that we can look into the automate section of the chat fuel bot. And the way the template works is that uh, we have a welcome message, which you can configure. Uh, and then we, there's a default answer. And if we look at the default answer, uh, all messages are going to be saved to this user attribute called user input. It needs to be exactly as it appears, lowercase with a space. And then uh, once uh, the, the input is saved, uh, we're gonna redirect to the Janus block. And so we can look at this Janus AI starter kit, and you'll see here that we have uh, a number of blocks, and these are response blocks for the Dialogflow agent. So your messages are gonna hit Dialogflow, and if they trigger a Dialogflow intent, they're gonna respond with one of these blocks. So we can look at the Janus block just to see how that's configured. And you'll see here that we have a JSON API, and all messages are gonna be uh, relayed to a URL. Now you'll see here that you need to paste your Janus key into this URL. Um, so if you want, you could put your Janus key in a user attribute uh, up here and then just include the user attribute in the URL. But I'm just gonna grab, uh, for now, I'm just gonna grab the key that Janus gave us and I'm just gonna copy that to my clipboard. And then if we go back here, we can just paste the key into the URL. And let's just go back here. Uh, if you're wondering why uh, we need that extra step, why can't we go directly to Dialogflow? Well, that's because Janus actually takes all of your chat fuel data and uses that to send commands to Dialogflow. So you can uh, send uh, all of your user attributes are passed to Janus and send all types of various commands to the Dialogflow agent with your chat field data, which is only made possible through the Janus integration. Now, if we wanna test the request, we can do that just to make sure, and we'll be looking for a status of 200, which we get right here. So 200 means that your chat field bot is successfully communicating with Janus, and Janus is then relaying that information to Dialogflow. Now let's take a look real quick at the Dialogflow agent. If we go to dialogflow.com, uh, you'll see that we have Dialogflow CX and Dialogflow ES. 
Dialogflow ES is the product that we're working with. ES stands for Essentials, and really it's the building blocks for building a smart automated experience with Google's natural language processing technology. And it's the technology that is most compatible with Chatfuel. So you'll just be able to click this Dialogflow ES link and then you'll be taken into the Dialogflow console if you click the blue button. And we're gonna to need to sign in again. And you'll see that uh, we'll need to accept the terms of service. This is a brand new Dialogflow account. Remember, this is the account that Jan has already set up for you. So you just need to accept the service. And you can see here that here we have our Dialogflow agent. And these are all the intents that Janice installed when we got started. So you have a pre-trained Dialogflow agent and you can benefit from this technology immediately. For example, if we click this intent, we can see here that these are all the things that users might say to mean yes. You know, that is correct, that's correct, perfect. And you can see there's a number of phrases that we've uh, train this dialogue flow agent to understand. Now really, you're going to want to build on this dialogue flow agent. You're going to want to add additional phrases and you're going to want to add uh, new intents as well. But it's really a foundation that you can build on. So we can just look at this intent and if we scroll down, we can see here that it's going to redirect to blocks. So if a user sends a, a message that triggers this dialogue flow intent, then we can respond with a chat field block. So if we go back to the chat field, and then we can look and find a block here. There's the block. So here's the response. And that allows us to build rich media responses using chat field's comprehensive set of, of, of tools. So again, you're going to use dialog flow to understand what the user says. And then if you scroll down, you can set up responses that all redirect to chat field blocks. And we've already done that for you by creating a number of intents that will understand users and a number of response blocks that match with those intents. Now, if you already have a chat field bot and you want to use this template within that bot, then you can just simply click this little button and you can copy the entire group over to your other chat field bot and you'll benefit from these responses immediately. Uh, if you're using any of our other dialog flow templates, like we have one for e-commerce, you can do the same thing. But you'll understand all of the messages that users send when they inquire about buying product, from lead generation to questions about shipping, um, uh, refunds, uh, order status, uh, and generally being able to answer questions about a product. Again, you would just copy the group over and you can uh, benefit immediately. Even though this group of blocks or this group of blocks, the block names won't change. Uh, they're exactly the same. So if we look at our dialogue flow agent uh, and we click into one of these intents, the block name is exactly the same. But because you can add any number of chat fuel bots to Janus, then Janus will know which bot to trigger the response for. So again, connect multiple chat fuel bots to Janus, and uh, you can use uh, one dialogue flow agent for multiple chat fuel bots because the block names are all going to be the same. Just the, the bot is, that's registered with Janus is going to be different. Uh, so that's a good way to get started. And we've also created a uh, complete user guide to benefiting from dialogue flow. Uh, and you just go to janice.ai slash chatfuel. And if you click uh, get started, uh, then you'll learn about uh, uh, these templates, uh, how to do a custom integration if you've already been working with dialogue flow before. Uh, and you'll wanna actually go through this uh, create with an AI section and it will show you uh, how to set up uh, different types of uh, triggers from chat fuel uh, to be able to then uh, process that information with dialog flow. Again, so this is all part of our integration between chat fuel and dialog flow. It allows you to send button events. It allows you to send user attributes. Uh, you can uh, set different languages. You can uh, know the context of a message. Uh, you can extract values 
from dialogue flow messages and Janus will automatically save them in user attributes. And then that allows you to build more intelligent responses using tools provided by Chatfield.